Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we got a glimpse of the page-based routing feature in Next.js. We learned that the index.js file corresponds to the domain root and that pages are associated with a route based on their file name like about and profile. In this video, let's understand how to work with nested routes. For scenario number three, we want a page to be rendered when the user navigates to the URL localhost 3000 slash blog. However, we also need a page to be rendered when the user visits slash blog slash first and another route when the user visits slash blog slash second. Let's see how to achieve this with the page based routing mechanism. In the pages folder, I'm going to create a new file called blog.js. Within the file, I'm going to define and export a function component. So function blog, return an h1 tag that says blog page and make sure to export it as the default. If you now save the file, head back to the browser and navigate to localhost 3000 slash blog. We see the blog page as expected. So the first part of scenario three is done. However, the question now is how do we implement slash blog slash first and slash blog slash second, which can be described as nested routes. Well, you don't have to worry because Next.js makes it really simple to implement nested routes by simply nesting folders inside the pages folder. So within pages, let's create a new folder called blog. Within this folder, let's create two new files, first.js and second.js. From both these files, let's export a simple function component as the default export. So function first blog and the JSX is first blog page and we default export it. Similarly, from second.js, export a simple component called second blog, which returns the JSX second blog page. Let's save both the files and head to the browser. If we now navigate to slash blog slash first, we see the first blog page. And if we navigate to slash blog slash second, we see the second blog page. So we have successfully implemented scenario three. Now the code we have written so far is perfectly fine. However, if we take a look at the pages folder, we have blog.js inside the pages folder, whereas the individual blogs are inside the blog folder. Wouldn't it be nice if we could group together all the blog related files within the blog folder itself? Well, it would, and it is very simple to do so. Begin by moving the blog.js file inside the blog folder. Then simply rename blog.js to index.js. If you remember in the previous video, I mentioned that the index.js file in the pages folder maps to the root domain. Well, it just so happens that an index.js file inside a folder nested within the pages folder will map to the root of the folder name as a route, which means slash blog. If you now go back to the browser, navigate to just localhost 3000 slash blog and our blog page still works as expected and so do the routes slash blog slash first and slash blog slash second. But now our pages folder organization is much better. Our scenario three has been implemented. So the point to keep in mind is that if you create a nested folder structure 
files will be automatically routed in the same way in the URL. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at dynamic routes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.